हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एनाटमी ऑफ यूरिटर्स एज यू कैन सी द यूरिटर्स और पियर ऑफ नैरो थिक वॉल्ड मस्क्यूलर ट्यूब्स विच कन्वे यूरिन मेड इन द किडनी टू द यूरिनरी ब्लैडर एज यू कैन सी द यूरिटर्स ओपन इन टू यूरिनरी ब्लैडर and conveys urine made in the kidney these are the muscular tubes thick wall tubes on both sides they lie deep in the peritoneum closely applied to the posterior abdominal wall in the upper part and to the lateral pelvic wall in the lower part in upper part it lies closely deep with the posterior abdominal wall and in the lower part it lies in the to the lateral pelvic wall now the dimensions if we talk of its dimensions it's 25 cm that's 10 inch long of which upper half that's 5 inch lie in the abdomen 5 inch that is uh, this part lies in the abdomen and the lower 5 inch lie in the pelvis If we talk of its measurement, it is three mm in diameter. Diameter of the ureter is three mm, and uh, we can see here, but it's slightly constricted in the pelvis. Diameter is constricted in the pelvis part. Chorus. Ureter begins within the renal sinus as a funnel shaped. dilatation called the renal pelvis as you can see it begins within the renal pelvis as a funnel shaped dilatation and the first part which lies within the uh, renal which lies within the kidney is called the renal pelvis the pelvis issues from the hilum of the kidney descends along its medial margin and gradually lies behind it and gradually uh, till the lower end of the kidney where it becomes ureter proper he expand ho jata hai pehle wahan se hilum se to renal pelvis se ye continue ho jata hai aur lower pole tak ye aise chalta hai fir ye ureter proper ban jata hai ureter process downwards as you can see passes downwards and slightly medially and slightly medially and enters the pelvis it enters the pelvis by crossing in front of termination of common iliac artery as you can see in this diagram this is common iliac artery and this is the we can see the hip bone and two hip bones form the pelvis and it enters the pelvis this is ureter it enters the pelvis by crossing the common iliac artery as you can see in this diagram this hole is ureter and it will enter here into the bladder in the true or lesser pelvis the ureter at first runs downwards slightly backwards and laterally and following the anterior margin of greater sciatic nerve this is the greater sciatic nerve and it follows it and runs downwards this is the ischial spine and then uh, runs uh, downwards and uh, enters the uh, it uh, runs then forwards and enters the uh, base of the bladder this is whole scala base of the bladder so the true pelvis it runs first downwards and slightly backwards and laterally follows the anterior margin of greater sciatic nerve and in front of the ischial spine it runs forwards and enters the base of bladder now the normal constrictions the bladder is slightly constricted at five places firstly at the pelvic ureteric junction this is renal pelvis and the uh, this is renal pelvis here in this position uh, when it becomes the um, ureter uh, there is narrowing here at the pelvic ureteric junction at the brim of lesser pelvis here at the brim of lesser pelvis 
here is construction and in thirdly uh, when the this ureter is crossed by ductus difference in uh, males or broad ligament here as you can see in this uh, structure here this is the broad ligament as you can see and ureter passes uh, it and it um, it is constricted here and uh, during its oblique passage through the bladder wall it's little bit constricted and it is opening in the lateral angle of trigone it's constricted so there are five constrictions normal constrictions in the uh, ureter at the pelvic ureteric junction at the brim of lesser pelvis and when uh, it's been crossed by the ductus difference or broad ligament of uterus in females and during its oblique passage through the bladder wall and uh, this is the oblique passage into the bladder wall and uh, in the lateral angle of trigone of the bladder um, and this is constricted now the relations if we talk of the relations uh, in the renal sinus branch of renal vessels lie both in front and behind it as you can see this is the renal sinus this is posteriorly we can see clearly here the ureter and this wala structure is we can say the renal pelvis at uh, this in front it's crossed by renal vessels artery and renal vein like both in um, anteriorly in front of it on the both sides and outside the kidney if we talk of outside the kidney on the right side there are renal vessels there is second part of duodenum and on the left side there are renal vessels there is pancreas there is peritoneum and there is jejunum and posteriorly it rests on the ureter rests on a muscle that is called a soyes major muscle as i will show you in the figure here you can see uh, you can see here uh, this is the right kidney and we have got the this is the ureter this is the abdominal part of ureter and uh, here is the duodenum uh, outline of duodenum and these are the gonadal arteries and this is the renal colic artery this is the iliocolic artery and this uh, this is our ureter and it lies in front of it and if we talk in the left kidney how we can see this is the ureter this here this structure is ureter and there is left colic artery there is left gonadal artery this is gonadal vein this is inferior mesenteric artery and uh, there is here the left kidney and um, lower part there is sigmoid or mesocolon this is in the uh, anterior relation of abdominal part of as you can see there is abdominal part 5 inch and 5 inch is pelvic part this is the anterior relation of an abdominal part of the ureter now we can see here abdominal part of the ureter as you can see here abdominal part of the ureter there lies the third part of duodenum peritoneum and there are the vessels right colic vessels as uh, you have seen the, in the figure gonadal vessels on the left side there is the peritoneum left colic vessels left colic artery gonadal vein left colic gonadal artery the sigmoid mesocolon i hope you have understood this and uh, posteriorly it rests on the abdominal part rests on a muscle that's called a psoas major muscle now we will talk of medial relationship as we you can see medially and there is this one the structure medially there is inferior vena cava on the left side and on the right side sorry this is right kidney and on the right side there is medially what we call inferior vena cava and in the left side this is not inferior vena cava there is the vein that's called left gonadal vein and uh, still medially we have the inferior mesenteric vein uh, as you can see here in this diagram this is the left kidney and there is the uh, inferior mesenteric vein and this is the gonadal vein vein as you can see medially on the ureter there is the gonadal vein and there is uh, this vein that's called the uh, 
inferior mesenteric vein that's it now we will talk of its pelvic part in the pelvic part of the ureter there are posterior relations there are lateral relations uh, posterior relations see clearly in this diagram look at it here is the pelvic part of ureter this is our ureter as you can see and uh, in the pelvic part in it is downward course posteriorly there are two vessels um, that's interior iliac artery and interior iliac vein there is uh, this lumbosacral trunk is there and their joint that's sacroiliac joint this is posteriorly now the laterally as you can see this um, you know this is the greater sciatic notch this is ischial spine then it uh, comes forward to enter into the bladder laterally what is there there is this vein that is superior uh, artery sorry superior vesicle artery is there and there is this obturator nerve and artery laterally there is obturator artery and obturator nerve and there is rectal artery uh, it's not shown here there is rectal artery and uh, as you can see and uh, the this is the uh, then in uh, in front of ischial spine it runs forwards and in the males there is the ductus deferens there is ductus deferens that cross crosses the ureter superiorly in males as you can see in this diagram this is the male uh, bladder and there is the ductus deferens that crosses the ureter uh, superiorly from side uh, lateral to medial side and the, in below the ureter there is the seminal vesicle this is the seminal vesicle on both side and sometimes there are vesicle veins around the terminal part of ureter there are vesicle veins in females as you can see here this is shown here in the females this is the ureter in the females it enters uh, you know it lies in the connective tissue and that's called the extra peritoneal connective tissue uh, that's called a ligament of uh, a uterus broad ligament of uterus it lies within that I'm not showing you clearly but here you can see this is the ligament and uterus uh, pierces this uh, ligament ligament of uterus and there are uterine arteries and uterine veins and uh, as you can see the terminal part of the ureter lies in front of vagina this is the terminal part of ureter it lies in front of vagina and then there's intravesicular part this is within the bladder and uh, it's obliquely enters into the bladder and it has a valvular action that means it acts as a valve here and it prevents the regurgitation of urine from the bladder to the ureter and uh, two openings are 5 cm apart there are two openings one on the left and one on the right as they enter the uh, bladder on the both sides and they are, they are 5 cm apart when the bladder is distended and 2 cm apart these openings are 2 cm apart when the bladder is empty if we talk of the arterial supply upper part is supplied from the renal artery it may also receive the gonadal artery or colic vessels upper part now the middle part it receives the branches from iota and uh, it also receive branch from gonadal or elic vessels now the pelvic part if we talk of pelvic part it receives the arteries from vesicle medial rectal and uterine vessels as in the females there uh, it lies it pierces the ligament of uterus the nerve supply it is uh, as if we talk of sympathetic uh, it's by t10 to l1 and uh, parasympathetic s2 to s4 nerves um, this is the anatomy of the ureter. I hope you have got that. Thank you.